Hello, I know it's been a while, but I am so excited to be with you. I want to give you an update on what the ministry is up to and then also tell you what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to me about how we can pray in this season, not just for Faith Fire, but our nation and the world. So real quick, uh, if we're still continuing with Friday noonday prayer at Governmental Plaza in, in Greensboro, if you're in the triad area, we're still gathering to pray. We've been adding a worship element to that as we uh, have been able as well. Someone coming and bringing piano uh, to uh, bring a worship element. In addition to that, we have started a new worship uh, gathering. We're calling it Desire Worship. It's happening in downtown Greensboro on Friday nights. It's not every Friday. We've got one coming up on this upcoming Friday, June 11th, and we'll have another one on July 9th, uh, then August 13th, and so on. The second Fridays, be praying for us that the the Lord will um, meet us there as he met the people when they built the temple in uh, 2 Chronicles 5, 6, and 7. We are praying that the Lord will come fill his house with glory. We're calling it desire worship because we're coming out of the book of Haggai in verse uh, 7 of chapter 2 where it says that he will uh, cause us to come to the desire of all nations after he shakes things. And there's been a shaking, amen? And so the desire of the Lord is that we come to the desire of the nations, Jesus Christ. And he says, and I will fill this house with glory. And so we're believing God that he will fill his house with glory. I'm not just talking about the edifice, the place we're worshiping, but the people. We're praying that people come and they're saved, healed, and set free, and set into their course of purpose in relationship with their heavenly daddy, Jesus Christ, and the Father himself. And we just praise God for this opportunity. So be praying for us. Uh, pray for faith. Favor as well. We've been given favor by the property owner at Crest Terrace. If you're interested in coming, we're at Crest Terrace again, June 11th, this upcoming Friday, uh, July 9th, August 13th, and that's 212 South Elm Street. Worship begins at seven o'clock. We begin with prayer and then we just go after God and worship him in spirit and in truth. Also, Faith Fire Media has kicked off. We've had six episodes thus far. If you've missed it, you've got to get in there. You've got to get caught up because the Lord has been speaking mainly from the dreams of the Lord and the Lord has been teaching. The Lord has been encouraging us. The Lord has been arming us for this hour and he's been sharpening us in the spirit for what he is doing in this hour in the land. And so I want to encourage you most recently, uh, I released a, a Faith Fire Media podcast. It's a video podcast and it's also on your, uh, uh, your other podcast platforms where you just get audio. But I, I talked about a dream from the Lord. He took me into the Garden of Eden and showed me what true love looks like, how Jesus literally, because we don't have a high priest, a great high priest who doesn't uh, understand our infirmities, but he's been tempted at every place yet without sin. He showed me an embodiment, an illustration of that that is phenomenal. And I pray that you get a chance to watch that. Go to the Faith Fire Worldwide Revival Ministries YouTube channel to begin watching those videos. Or if you're a Google podcast person or Apple podcast person, or you uh, do Spotify, wherever you get your audio podcast, you can download Faith Fire Media from there. So get caught up with that. Uh, also be praying with us because we're going to be adding street level ministry this summer. We're doing that before our desire worship services. We're going to be on the street around 530. We're going to be feeding people for free and we're going to be engaging people with the power of the Holy Spirit, prophesying, praying, praying for healing, engaging people with what the Holy Spirit wants to do. We just want to walk into what he's already doing. Take that stream. He's already flowing from the throne room and get involved and take the gospel and the good news and the the power of God right to the people. Uh, we're going to be expanding that in ways that I'm not yet sure. The Lord is still showing me some ideas and, and carving out some plans so that we can do this on a consistent basis. And uh, so be praying with us on that. Now, in general, I just want to say we are still praying and seeking God for connections and partners. What do I mean? So the Lord put in my spirit uh, last year, a trip across the country to close the gap between God and his people in specific states, among them Florida, Arizona, Texas, Nevada, California, and there are others the Lord has put in my spirit that I'm still seeking him on what the purpose is there. And he's saying, go there and close the gap. That is an evangelistic mission. And so we're gonna be doing that. And we believe the Lord is gonna open up a door for a motor home. So if that's you, if you know someone with a motor home, or if you know somebody who could purchase a motor home, or if you wanna give toward that, whatever the case, we know if it's God's will, it's God's God's bill, as my uh, brother 
Evangelist Chance Walters likes to say, listen, if it's the will of God, he's going to make it happen. And so we've been waiting patiently for him to open those doors. So pray with us on that for the favor of God as he grows us in wisdom and stature and favor with him and with man. Uh, in addition to that, I, I just want to share this. I released this this morning on Facebook and I want to encourage you, if you're interested in what the what the Lord has been saying through me, you can always find us on Faith Fire Worldwide Revival Ministries on Facebook or uh, my personal page on Facebook or my Frank Mickens official public page on Facebook um, and Twitter as well. And so um, a few things. He wants us to be praying right now against the spirits of violence and murder. The Lord showed me clearly in my sleep about this spirit and it's indiscriminate. It is a vile spirit. Things are breaking out already. And I want to pray and I want us to pray that these uh, outbursts of rebellion and lawlessness will be uh, held at bay as well. We've got flight attendants getting assaulted. We've got basketball players being tackled and spat on and hit with bottles. Hallelujah. We've got uh, outbreaks of violence in Miami and outbreaks of violence in California all over the land. People being shot up. We had this in here in North Carolina a couple of months ago. A man just shooting indiscriminately and killing five, six people, including a sheriff's deputy. These are the the um, the outbursts that the Lord warned me of. He showed me an ant bed and he showed the ants were swarming the ant bed. And the enemy is in a flurry and a frenzy. If you read in the book of Revelation, uh, after the enemy failed to snatch the child from the woman who gave birth, the Bible records that uh, there was a warning issued from the angel that the enemy knows his time is short and that he is going to engage in his wickedness at full force. And he's doing it. He knows the people of God, the remnant of God are coming into maturity and coming into a new wine skin and operating in new wine and that there will be a, a further outpouring of his spirit. And so the enemy is working hard in a frenzy to combat that. I also want you to continue to pray against the distortion of truth in the media. I don't have time to go into it right now, but the Lord showed me it's clear as day in the uh, second heaven how the enemy has a, a strategy where, where uh, information is being distorted purposely to keep you confused and to make you afraid. And so we need to pray against that spirit of fear. We need to pray against the spirit of distortion. We need to pray against the spirit of accusation and lies. And of course, continue to pray for, you, for oneness in the church and against the spirit of division. What else, Lord Jesus? Come on. Hallelujah. I pray uh, as well for the body of Christ to stop allowing the traditions of men to outdo the commandments of God. Matthew chapter 15 warns us of this. And we know that the church is being matured and there's a remnant being brought up. I want you to read as well. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10 uh, and Isaiah chapter 6, where the Bible talks about the remnant. The Bible talks about how there's um, there's trouble in the land and that that things that come into the land can cut out a whole lot of people who thought they were for God, who thought they were in the will of God and that there's a remnant and it's a small number. And you want to be among the remnant who are watching and praying and engaging. But we want people to come into the power of God and operating with God and not the traditions of men. So pray against the spirit of religion in the name of Jesus so that we can come into a faithful and true relationship with our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, what is it? Okay, I believe that's all that I have for you this week. But listen, continue to pray for the ministry. Continue to pray for the body of Christ. Continue to pray for your cities and neighborhoods. And I'm reminded the spirit of the Lord revealed to me the other day uh, where Jesus said as he was on his way to Calvary, he said, do not cry for me. Cry for the city. Cry for Jerusalem. Weep for the city. And, and we need to take that on. You know, we're talking about persecution and people are so upset over Jesus being persecuted. No, 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 no. Don't worry about Jesus being persecuted. Embrace the persecution because that actually is what the Lord warned us of. But cry for the people who are enduring the persecution. Cry for the people who are executing the persecution. Cry for the city. Cry for your city. Cry for your neighborhoods. Cry for your nation. Cry for the world. Weep for the Lord. And so, Lord, I bless you for how you even wept over Jerusalem. I pray you give us a spirit of intercession. Hallelujah. You said that you made intercession for us. And God, you have given us a spirit of intercession. You said the spirit intercedes on our behalf. And so that spirit in us can be useful, God, if we partner with Holy Spirit to bring your, your kingdom uh, 
purposes to pass. Let us be about our Father's business in this hour. In the name of Jesus, bless everyone who's watching this. Bless everyone who's been engaging in the Spirit. Bless your people, God. I pray that you bless them mightily in the name of Jesus. Manifold blessings be unto them. As the Apostle Peter spoke, in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, thank you for your partnership, your prayers. Continue to pray for our family in Jesus' name. Continue to pray for partners and financial uh, partners and prayer partners. We bless God for you and we will see you soon. Love you. Bye. Thank you.